Hey everybody, it's BC here, and yes, I am back with some more Hellion. Uh, I decided to take a break from the last time. Uh, you know, I was sort of trying to follow the story mode, and you know, I was sort of stumbling over. Oh, they changed the helmet. Oh, I like that. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, I was spending more time on the story mode than actually worrying about the station. And needless to say, things didn't work out too well. I was running out of power, uh, supplies and resources and stuff like that. And eh, I just decided to walk away and take a bit of a break. And I have taken a break and we are now in a new update. We are now in version 0 0.4. Which means uh, we are now in the exposure update. Which means they have to replace the, deg uh, the degrade degradation of ships and stations with radiation. So that is quite interesting. We do now have nanite cores we need to worry about. But what I need to worry about right now is the fact that we're in a debris field. Ah, it's quiet. It's the best thing about space. You don't have to listen to noise. Oh, they really give you a nice starting spot now. This is not the usual st starting area that I'm used to. And I might have to adjust my mouse sensitivity. Or maybe they've changed it. I don't know. But it's always nice to come back to Hellion after a while because they change so many things and things are change so much. It's almost like starting the game all over again for the first time. So I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, or I know what I'm supposed to be doing, but what's here now? Because this is like all new to me. Wow, the ambience is something else. Uh, See, where are we going? Let's actually go upstairs and see what's up there. Alright, and up we go. Uh, I know we're in a declining orbit. I actually went ahead and just skipped the quest, so uh, we're not going to have to listen to Fiona the whole time. I'm not going to worry about the quest. I'm just going to do the whole survival bit and just experience what Hellion's got to offer, right? Let's see if we can find anything in here quickly. Uh, of course not. Anything in the mainframe? No. Alright, that's fine. Uh, other than that, the ship is in absolute disarray right now. On the station. We are a declining orbit, so I think we should get the hell out of here. Or I, I should say, the hellion out of here. Ha ha ha, yes, pun intended. Let's do a quick look around here first, see what else we got. I have no idea where I came in through. Well, that's cool. I like how they blocked that off. And I think... This is not where I came from. Actually, it is. Yes, it is. Because the S corridor is what I came through. So let's go back through here. And I do have to keep an eye on my uh, RCS and stuff like that. Let's go try corridor 1. Corridor 1 is blocked. Corridor C is open. And it looks like the corridor I was just in. I have no idea where it's supposed to Actually, this might have been the way it came. Always check the doors when you come in so you know where you're going because when you're lost in here you're losing not only time but losing oxygen as well. So I think it was this one that was open as well, yes. Oh, that works. Let's just get out of here. Me as well. Let's see what we have out here. Do we have a ship? There's a command module. I have no idea what's over there. Constingency. Hmm. I know what we're supposed to do. Now where would it be? Inside the command module. Yes, yeah, so we gotta go hit that uh, call ship button. At least I think so. Because I don't see a ship out here. And be careful not to hit, hit anything, because the last thing I want to do is death by impact. Alright, so there should be a call button up here for a uh, rescue ship. I don't know if we actually have that power or not. Oh. Overshooting with the jetpack, as always. Okay. Uh, oh, they disabled it. Oh, you bastards. Oh, there it is. So we got one minute. So there's nothing to loot in here, so uh, we'll just leave it. At least it's only one minute now, not ten minutes like it used to be. Okay, let's head down. 
Now, I'm, I'm looking at the bar there. Oh, I know what that green bar is at the bottom. That's the suit power. And then you can see the light icon on the left, or on the right. So that's good. We must do a quick check in these lockers, see if there's anything we can take. Hacking tool, definitely need that. Anything on the floor? No. Okay. This looks like a good door to leave. We'll go out here, we'll take a quick peek in the lockers here. Oh, we'll take that. Need oxygen or nitro, whatever that was. But we're gonna need it, and nothing in these. Okay. Let's get out of here. Ship should be here. And the good old stereo oops, just spawned in too. Love that. So they are going to be making some changes soon to the warp drive mechanic, which is actually going to be quite interesting. They're calling it Warp 2.0. And basically what's going to happen is they're going to be changing the tiers. There's going to be an emergency tier now, which all ships will have. And you don't actually need a detonator for it. I just realized I don't think I have a welding tool on me. I might have to fix this thing up. Actually, if I just called it, it should be in good shape. Let's have a look. Oh well, yeah, so it's going to be... Uh, the emergency warp is going to be just your basic warp. It's just going to be enough to get to move the ship a certain distance at a somewhat slow speed. Uh, they're going to be introducing towing capacities as far as weight limits, not modules. So instead of saying like the stereotypes can warp with three modules, they'll be able to warp with, let's say, 60,000 kilos. And that's how they're going to be working it. So unauthorized access. Okay, well, that's where the... Can I hack it from here? I don't think I can. Let's find out. Uh... Oh, I can actually open this door, okay. That's why we had the hacking tool. So we go in here, we equip that, and let's hack this bad boy. And where do I hack? Where do I hack? Uh, excuse me, where do I, where do I use this? Hmm. Used to be used on the door. To go right up here. That is strange. Hmm. Okay, let me see here. What was it? G? No. Okay. I was trying to figure out how to get it out of my hand, but that's obviously not the case. So, why am I not being able to hack this? Is it because it's not powered up? Oh, they changed the graphics. I like that. That is cool. Yeah, I'm confused. How do I hack my way into this thing? Hmm. Uh, you think if you call a rescue ship, you'd be able to get in, no problem, but apparently not. There's got to be something going on here. Something I'm missing. It usually is. Oh. Well, if you're saying unauthorized access, why can I actually open the door? Makes no sense. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, what did I do? I closed the wrong door. Yes, that's what happens when you don't play for a couple of months. Oh, get me down. Please tell me there's gravity. Oh, thank God. All right, so now we go over here. We can actually open that up. And then, where do we hack this thing? Let's say an unauthorized, but I can claim it. So it is our ship now. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong button. Trying to run, not squat. Let's see if we've got any power in this thing. Okay. Deploy solar panels. Do we have a warp core? No, we do not. And we don't have a detonator. But we, I 
don't think we need a warp core to. What's this? Oh yeah, uh, the nanite cores. These are what they uh, they're using for the radiation now. Uh, you have these nanite clusters. Every ship and module has one. And you have these nanite cores that you put in there that uh, supposedly ward off the uh, what you call it, the radiation. It's supposed to be some sort of armor too. Okay, let's see here. Get doors closed. Oh, tank's empty. Okay, never mind. We'll just save the power then. All right, so I have no idea where, where we're going to go, what we're going to find, but it's time to look. And we do have a few things here. What is that? Drill bits now. Oh, cool. I've changed so much. All right, so where do we go? I have no idea. Let's open up the old map here, which would be two. Unstable orbit, yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's do a scan and see what we can find around here. Maybe we can find a station or something we can go check out. ALP. No idea. We definitely got to get to a better orbit, though. Gnosis Ruins. I'm going to assume that's story mode. Yeah, there's nothing around there. Well, let's go ahead and actually make a new orbit. Okay, how do I do that? Uh, hmm. Pretty sure it's in here. Ah, there we go. I pressed the orbit. Now, I'm wondering if I can actually create this orbit without a warp cell. Okay, where is our destination in this orbit? Yeah, okay, it's right there. Let's do that. And no warp cells. That's what I thought. I do not have any on me, so I guess I'm going to have to find a warp cell. As soon as I stop squatting on the ground. Nothing in there. Gonna be nothing in here, so it's gotta be something in this station. Oh, we gotta hurry. Oh. Jetpack is so slow on this game. Yeah. And that's the best thing about not having any oxygen in this ship is we don't have to worry about uh <sighs> waiting for depressurization of the airlocks. Oh, there was a light spike. Where is contingency? Where are you? I'm lost. There you are. Alright, so I'm going to go over here, take a quick look around, see if I can find a warp cell, and I'll bring you back. Alright, well, I went through the entire station. I wasn't able to find anything. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go back into the station, uh, to the stereo ops, and there's actually a L section and a power supply section over there. So we're going to go over there and see if we can actually find a warp cell. Uh, fortunately, I do have RCS in this thing. At least I hope I do. I never did actually check that, so... Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to do a duel over here, so I will be right back. Okay, there was actually more than enough RCS in here. We're actually coming up to the power supply section right now, or the life support section. And I just do have to make sure I get my relative velocities all worked out for this, and hopefully I have no problem parking this thing. But we are coming up, and I'm hoping we can at least find a warp cell. I will have to start finding some oxygen pretty soon. But I think this is how it's supposed to be starting now, where you don't actually have anything but a ship. Oh. Oh, getting a little too close there. Alright, then we bring her down and match. Okay. Let's see what we got. So it's like really surviving. You don't start with nothing but a ship, and the ship is barely scraping by. Uh, let's see what we can find in here. Maybe we can find some some oxygen and some RCS and a warp cell or two. But I definitely gotta start finding some modules. At least try to get an outpost. Or lifeboat, as it's commonly referred to. Oh, it's the wrong way. Give me back in there. Oh no, the floor's that side. I always get confused when I get in these things. Okay. 
And so far, not finding much. And I'm hoping this isn't going to be one of those instances where the game's bugged with nothing looting or nothing spawning. And I hope not. I should try to see if there's a, a way to just avoid the whole uh, story mode altogether. Because I think the quests might be affecting spawns. Maybe. I have no idea. But I don't see anything in here, which is very rare. Yeah, nothing. Well, let's go check the power, power section. And it's not even going to be a power section. It's just going to be a... It's not going to be a power supply, it's just going to be a power section. And it is too far away. I'm not going to risk it by jetpack because I'll never find my ship again. So I will meet you at the power supply section. Well, that's interesting. I'm just looking at this uh, new thing here. And it's telling you exactly what the level of radiation is. And as you can see, it's whatever that is. And I get this is the actual health of the ship, and it tells you how much, how long it's got before the decay takes over. Remember the radiation destroys the ship, I should say. And I'm assuming that that's that's what this whole pattern I'm seeing is about. It's about these nanites that are f warding off the radiation. But I thought I'd just point that out. Uh, I will see. You, well, yeah, she'll be there pretty quick because we're not too far away if I can line up to the right marker and yes I realize I had the power off that's why the panels are lit up now oh, it's on the other side that's why I can't see it okay and we just stop that side motion a little too aggressive and we should be there pretty quick as long as I don't crash into it But yeah, they're also supposed to be uh, reworking the scanning soon too. It's gonna be gonna be interesting how that's gonna work out. But one of the things that they've done with this update that I haven't actually checked out yet oh suicide burn is uh, mining's been changed now. Apparently, it's mining nodes, and I'm assuming that's what the drill bits are for. Is that you get higher tier bits get you. Uh, faster mining or better yields out of the asteroid that you're, you're mining. And I always hold shift and stabilize when I park outside a ship because, in case you're wondering, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft and Minecraft you control to run, so that's why I keep crouching because I want to run but I'm hitting the wrong button. Wrong button BC. It wouldn't be the same if it wasn't, if it wasn't fumbling all over the keyboard. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Please tell me there's actually a warp cell in here. I think I really need a warp cell. I don't even think I'm in a stable orbit yet. Grab it. There we go. Yeah, this is weird. I'm not seeing any loot whatsoever. The only other options I have... Okay. Hey, a warp cell. Good, we can get the hell you out of here. Give me that. Thank you. Uh, the first thing I want to do is actually... Oh, it's a full one, too. Nice. And they're supposed to be having higher tier warp cells, too. It's supposed to be like up to a tier 4 warp cell, I think. So it's going to be interesting to try that out. It's got to be one of the best things about the about playing early access games is you get to experience the new additions while you're playing enjoying the game not that makes it any easier but hey this game was never meant to be easy even EVAs but just blame my lousy mouse control on that okay uh, what I'm going to try to do too with this playthrough, because I think that kind of ruined it for me on the last survival, or the last actual survival before I tried the story mode, was I was using that fabricator too much. So I was able to get pretty much everything I needed, unless they've changed recipes. Made it a little more, a little more expensive to make things, for instance, right? But with how they're changing things up all the time, you never know.
Anyways, I have a warp cell, so I'm going to get back to the ship. I'm going to install this thing and see where we can go. Uh, I do know I need to find some oxygen pretty damn quick. And some RCS fuel. I didn't even check to see what I got in that container. But I don't think it matters. I don't think you can actually install it in here. I gotta say, this is an ugly shit. It looks like it belongs in the junkyard. And not working either. For scrap. Anyway. And yes, my RCS is down low. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Let's see what we got here. Okay, that's fine. Let's put that in there. And let us warp. Now, I don't know how much power capacity I have. 200. I have no idea where that's going to be able to take me, but find out. And yes, all the shelves and boxes and everything was empty. I've already gone through here. Like, you don't give you a gun, but it's okay. I'm offline, so... Anyway, uh, let's warp the hell out of here. Okay, out of custom orbit. Uh, let's see, somewhere safe. Away from broken marble. Or burner, actually. Uh, oh, that's not what I want. Let's go there and there. I want to make sure that I don't come close to burner's orbit because uh, it's pulled me a couple of times. All right, and we are going to be warping there. I think that is good. All right, we are doing our first first warp of the season. Speed too slow. And ready. So we'll go ahead and initialize that. And hopefully we're not warping right into something. And then once I get out there, we'll do another scan and see what we have. Alright, just like so. So I shall see you in a moment. And here we are. So let's see where we are. We're not in unstable orbit anymore. I'm actually going to get rid of that. Because we're not going there anymore. Now hopefully we don't get close enough to burners. So let us do a scan and see what we can find. I think we might have to actually go down to debris areas to find stuff. I actually saw something I thought. Uh, that was actually where we were, and there is nothing around. So we might have to go in a little more to actually find stuff. So let's actually do that. Now generally it's going to be around the debris fields from what I've seen in the past. It actually seems like a good spot right there. You know, just be on the outside. Try not to get too far into it. Uh, sadly, I don't have. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have too much armor on my ship, and I don't have a repair tool, which kind of sucks. So this shouldn't take too long. I'm actually gonna try to speed this one up a little bit if I can, and I can't because using such a low tier I'm not even using a detonator what am I talking about alright so it's going to take me a couple of minutes to get there so I'll bring you back once we're finally there alright here we are let's do a scan see what we can find see if we can actually find anything at all and I'm starting to doubt that but you never know there's the ruins but I don't want to go to the ruins although could find some stuff and uh, I'm not picking anything up on the scan. Which is kind of worrisome. Definitely. Kind of worried about going to ruins too, because you never know what's going to be there. Hmm. See, I want to like start getting a station set up and whatnot. And that is some sort of asteroid, apparently. It says visit asteroid to mine asteroids or uh, resources. Well, that'd be nice. I'm trying to actually find a station first. I don't think we can actually salvage that because that's all like derelict stuff, right? Damage. You know what? Maybe we'll go over check this out. Just because 
just because I need some, re some oxygen. I'm going to die soon unless I find some air and some RCS and the whole nine yards. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're almost there. And it's a good thing too because I almost died. <laughs> I got out of the seat just to check to see I had 1% oxygen left. Oh, there's a sound I don't miss. Ruin command section and uh, other Gnosis command. Well, what is that? Is that something we're actually going towards? It's the Ruin command center. Hmm. You know what? I think we should try to get a little bit closer because this debris is going to hurt. Big time. Oh, that if I actually target the right thing. Get a little bit closer. The ship could take more of a beam than I can. Not much, but. Let's try to get somewhere safe. Because it's just going to take one piece of debris to completely knock me out. Incapacitate me. Uh, what is going on here? Oh, that's rotating, not me. Okay, wrong button again. Anyway, so let's uh, be careful about this. Run, run, run. Just go for it, go for it. And get that shift key ready. Okay. Let's get inside. Don't have much light, but I gotta use it. Take a stim pack. Take that. Right now, I'm more worried about resources. And another jet pack if I can find one. Alright. Let's see what we find in here. Usually you can find a jetpack around here somewhere. But with my luck, it's going to be completely empty. Just because it's actually a command module. Or I'm going to open up a door, there'll be a turret, and then game over. And we start over again. But I don't really have time to think about stuff like that right now. I'm going to be running out of oxygen pretty quick. Alright, let's see what we have through door number one. A rogue turret. No. Jetpack? Jetpack? No. You got anything there? No. I'll take some clips, why not? And a hacking tool. Aha! Hacked. No, let's see, let's see if it was actually worth it. And I just hacked the door that opened up to nothing. Oh my god. What a waste. Well. It's going to be the end, I think. So I'm going to try to go make it to that uh, Gnosis command and I'll bring you back. Okay, I had a little bit of trouble finding it. Uh, it was a little further outside of my radar range and it wasn't showing up on the scanner because I was zoomed out too far. So I am heading there. That is... 10 kilometers away. Uh, the problem is I'm down to 9% oxygen. So I have no idea if I'm going to make it. So there is a good chance that I may have to do another start. In which case you won't even see the video because I'll just scrap it and start over. I'm sure there's something I've missed somewhere but you know I thought there was actually an option, option to choose a story mode or just to play without it. And I'm playing without it, and I'm not finding modules, I'm not finding the usual Hellion stuff. Not unless it's actually possible to commandeer these things. I have no idea. I'm recording, by the way, because you never know when I'm going to... When you're traveling at 125 meters a second, you never know when someone's going to pop up right in front of you you don't see. Like a large piece of debris. So far, the ship has not taken any damage, according to uh, the screen on the side there. But I don't trust that. Not unless those nanites are keeping things under control. It's hard to say. You know, I'm 
sort of going in blind on this update. I just skimmed through the release notes on Steam, and here we are. So now the question is, how much oxygen do I really have? Right, let's slow this down. Let's aim towards command center a little bit more so I can find out which way I'm going. And then we'll try to park it close without slamming into it. Which doesn't matter because I think I'm just about dead. It's a good thing I got the door open because I'm going to need to get in there pretty damn quick. Oop, too far. Okay. 3%. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, let's find out. Light helps. But with my luck, I'm going to run into a big piece of debris and I'm going to be dead anyway, so it don't matter. Going over here because I have a feeling that that's. Yeah, there's the turrets. Yeah. I'm dead, anyways. Let's do it. I think we're going to call this one here. Uh, I'm going to just upload this, anyways, because this has been a bit of a challenge. So, in the next episode, we're going to do another start and we're going to try this again. But, anyways, I thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, Leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.